Thinking about the weekend, I know I am already. I know it's Tuesday, but I'm living for the weekend as the old tune goes. We see Georgia fans travel and coordinate their clothes, red shirts, <laughs> red shirts, unlike any other football fan base in the country. And West Blankenship tells us why their latest push is their boldest one yet. Georgia fans have a movement going. They want to checker Neyland Stadium red and black using the same template that Tennessee fans use to checker every section of the 102,455 seat stadium orange and white this Saturday. Can we take a moment to acknowledge how absurd that would have seemed in every season before this one? Remember, the century began with goalposts coming down and Georgia fans ruining the hedges in Athens. Then the hobnail boot in Knoxville, Tennessee still lives on forever after back to back shocking Bulldog upsets over the Vols. In 2006, Philip Fulmer's team hung half a hundred on the dogs in Athens after a 27 point fourth quarter. And just three years ago, the Hail Mary from Josh Dobbs capped off a 20 point fourth quarter by the Vols. I know you've seen the dogs shock the Vols 41 nothing in Knoxville since then. You've seen Georgia State beat Tennessee in Knoxville since then. You've taken over South Bend and Nashville. You pinked out Sanford Stadium in a touching tribute to another head coach. But dogs, come on, checkering Neyland? You've either jumped the shark or we're about to see Rocky Top hit a rock bottom that we never thought possible.